Hey guys, so today we're playing a little bit of Rats. And this is a mono black aggro deck uh, focusing on rat synergies. And I'm convinced this deck's actually pretty good. So uh, in the one drop spot, we have the Gnawing Vermin. One mana, one, one. Mill two cards when it comes into play. When it dies, a creature gets minus one, minus one. And then uh, Okaba Reckoner Raid uh, as a Saga. One mana. The first two turns, uh, opponent loses a life and you gain a life. And then it turns into a 2-2 two, two Menace. Gives our vehicles Menace, which we don't have. But it's basically just a 2-2 two, two Menace Rat. Tangled Colony. Two mana, 3-2. Camp Lock. When it dies, it, you create X 1-1 one, one Rat creature tokens that Camp Lock. Where X is the damage dealt to this Rat when it died. But this thing it, like, is really good in decks where they, they want to block, but they can't really block without giving you a bunch of rats. The Prowler. We're playing four Prowlers. Sometimes it's just a three mana. Or sorry, a two mana, three one. But it can be ninjutsu into play. Give a creature death touch and lifelink, which can be really nice in certain combat situations, or if you need the life gain as well. Go for the throat times four just for uh, some removal in the deck. Lord Skitter, one of the best rat cards by far. Then we're playing Lord Skitter's Butcher. This one I, I'm not 100% sure on, but it's got a lot of versatility. You can make more rats. Um, you can draw cards in the later game if you desperately need to. And then the, the biggest one on this card is giving all of my creatures menace. So sometimes you have a full board and they have a bunch of blockers and this thing can just come down and win you the game. Probably the best rat, I think, in the deck is Kairumonix, Kar the Rat King. 3 mana, 3-3, three, three, Toxic 1, gives all your other rats Toxic 1. We're not trying to be a Toxic deck, but there's certainly games where you can suddenly just have a full board and, and kill them with Toxic all of a sudden. More importantly, though, it comes into play. Reveal the top five cards of your library. Reveal any number of rat cards from among them and put them into your hand. This card is, is very important in this deck because you can kind of just, like, curve out and, and be aggressive and dump your hand. And this thing can sometimes just reload your hand fully. It doesn't always hit, but sometimes you'll draw like three cards or four cards off of this thing. Twisted Sewer Witch. This card isn't Grey Merchant of Asphodel, but it certainly some games can feel like it. Five mana, three, four, comes into play, makes a rat, and then puts a Wicked Roll token on all your rats. Uh, Wicked Roll being plus one, plus one, and when it dies, it, uh, they lose one life. So there's many, many games where you have them at a low life total, and you drop this thing down, all your rats get pumped, and then they can't block the rats anyways, because if they do, then they'll get drained out by the by the uh, the roll damage. So pretty good stuff. Uh, as far as the lands go, we do get the Cavern of Souls, because we're playing all these rats, so uncounterable is really nice. And then we're trying out one Draenith Ruins, um, put two plus one plus one counters on target creature, non-creature human, they're all rats, obviously. That entered the battlefield this turn. Uh, somebody in the comments, one of my last videos, suggested this card, so we're gonna give it a shot. Field the ruins, Mishra's Foundry, just for some man lands, and uh, Takanuma, obviously. In the sideboard, uh, we have mostly hand disruption stuff. So, if we're playing against board board wipe decks and things like that, uh, we have Liliana, we have the Deep Cavern Bats, we have Nizumi Informant, which is just a two mana, makes them discard a card, but it's a rat also. And we do have the Virtue of Persistence if we need a bit more removal and life gain as well. So that's the deck. Um, let's jump into some games and see how we do. Okay. Ashikotaro. 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 Against our mono black rats. This. Possibly some blue white control. So turn two, we can either play this or we can... Uh, that's probably going to be very good. Uh, let's do that and name Rat. And let's just throw out the 3-1 and be aggressive as possible here. Especially now that we can't be countered. I'm less afraid to play into this. So next turn we'll probably Lord Skitter. Okay, Esper. So transform... Let's play the Foundry, and let's attack. I'm actually going to play this. I'm going to save the Lord Skitter for when there's things in the graveyard. Let's hopefully get some stuff. Okay, one card. Not great, but not, not terrible. So opponent cycles a land. Something we can eat with a Lord Skitter. Not that it really matters, but is there any four mana board wipes? Um, okay, let's go land. So I'm probably going to get Sunfall in here. So I think I'm going to hold on to the Lord Skitter and just play like... Hang on, let's go to combat. Let's go to combat. Oh, is it a Wandering Emperor? Okay. Okay. 
Okay, exile. That's too bad. Uh, and then let's go one of the colonies and one of the raids. And then if they board wipe us here, we can follow up with the Lord Skitter and the Tangled Colony and hope that that does something. Sunfall. No, okay. Um, so they didn't sunfall there. I wonder if they have a, a uh, farewell, maybe. I think I might just main land here. I just don't, I don't want to overcommit, and then they have the board wipe. So let's let's uh, main land. Three, four, five, six, seven. Um, I'm gonna. Hmm. Do I? Let's go for the kill. Clearly it's not going to happen, but... So what does this do? It flashes guys out. Okay. So let's... Kill that, and then they go to two. So the nice thing is this is now phased out, so that even if they board wipe, my guy lives. So we make a two two. Land. So our guy flips. Um, I think I just main land here again. I don't think I want to. Play into this yet. Um, okay. So I'm sure there are probably board wipes in the deck. Um, so I think I'm going to increase the uh, discard stuff. Let's put in the Lili a few Lilianas. Probably don't need four on the sideboard. We'll do three. And the informant, sure, why not? Uh, this thing doesn't do much against them. So, whoops, so we'll reduce those. These are good. Go for the throat. Was decent there, but I think it's less important than what I've brought in from the sideboard. So I'll reduce a couple of those. For this game, I'm going to take out all of them. I'll put them back in if I feel like it's important. Let's go minus one witch and minus one butcher. And we'll see how that goes. We'll see if the hand disruption helps us or if it makes the deck too slow. Ashiko Totaro. Uh, we will keep this. Unfortunately, no um, Saga for the first turn, but there's a bat. Tangled Colony is de definitely worse as well because they're never going to deal damage to it. I mean, they might block with a 2-2 a two -two token or something like that, but um, let's... Let's go aggressive. We'll do the bat afterwards, but I want to put pressure on as fast as I can, and then I can hopefully take away like a board wipe out of their hand. Oh, they just have a cut down. Okay. I would like the uh, can't be countered land. Um, let's play our first of two Lord Skitters here and see if uh, it gets killed right away. So make a token. Exile that. So we need lands. Okay. Um, so I want to play the bat and take their potential like board wipe, but I also don't want to only spend two mana this turn when I can do more. I might Liliana here. Let's go to combat and see if they respond to, to combat first. Commando. And then probably block. Okay. Alright, now I think I'll bat now actually, because I if if I can take a very important card here from them, then that's 
What do we got? Oh, so it's like an Asper Flash deck. It's not really a control deck. Uh, I'll take the Bodyguard. Okay, uh, land. So I can play the Witch, but I think I'm going to wait and try to get more rats out first. What is this? Connives when it comes to return target spell to its owner's hand. Cool. Nice. Uh, all right, let's... No reach, nothing like that. All right. Interesting. Uh, okay, so I'll probably... Uh, I'd like a land here. Uh, that's pretty good, too. Let's play... Let's play that first and make them discard their last card. Nice. It's actually really good because I wanted to Liliana make them sacrifice, but... Um, in that case, I probably still will make them sacrifice. Okay. So I'll make them sacrifice. If they sack this, then I can block this, which is nice. Uh, yeah, let's get in with the... Well, I guess these don't block, so we'll get in with everybody. And then we can chump block this and hopefully protect our Liliana. So block... Um, let's both this card. We have two rats, two skitters, so we'll do one of those. I'm kind of scared to block attack with the bat now. Let's go, Lord Skitter. Looks like they're gonna kill it pretty quickly. Maybe not. They're going to counter my Lord Skitter trigger. Okay. Uh, let's attack with the bat. <laughs> that was literally like the perfect sequence of cards I've ever seen. Like From the Mastermind on to that, it was like every card they could have possibly wanted. Do I trade this Skitter? I think I might. I don't think that the one one, the one ones that are coming down are re that relevant. I think I'd rather kill this four two. He's at twenty three, and has a bunch of creatures that can block. So the one ones are, I mean, they're good with this with the witch, but okay. Let's go here. And try to reload our hand a bit. Well, five lands. Absolutely ridiculous. Uh, butcher. Let's make a rat. And then we're going to hope that this uh, Twisted Rit Witch... So we don't attack here because he can flash this in. He's all ready to go. It lit up there. He was excited. He can flash in exile one and block the other, obviously. So Malcolm. So cycle of land. Probably attack with a bunch of guys. Okay. Yep. Another bat. Um, I think we got. We have to put this thing out now. Is it another uh, tide binder by chance? Make disappear. Um, so we can attack with this. I had one more mana. 
one more land I could have batted their Wear Fox again, but quick study. So Malcolm comes again. Draw discard. Yeah, I don't think we're coming back with them at 27 in this situation, so let's not um, drag this on forever here. Let's go to game three. Um, so now that I see what they're playing, I think the removal's better than I... I thought it was more of a blue-white control deck, but clearly the removal's going to be better than better than that. Um, so let's bring those back in. Uh, I think the informants are going to be probably too weak, and I don't think these are that good anymore either. I think I'd rather just have more removal for all these... Let's try that. All these cheap... Like, all the flyers have, like, three toughness or less, so... Let's try that out. So play first. Uh, really need to draw land here. Let's give it a shot, though. If we can draw land, then we're we're in okay shape. Okay, let's go bat. I hope we don't get cut down here. Whoa. So they don't have blue mana, right? Is that a black-white land? It is. So I should take a white spell. Because they can't cast those. The commandos. I think I take the bodyguard. I know they can play the commandos actually here, but... Those can't block here anyways. Okay, let's go land. Let's go to combat. I'm going to play a... This guy. Yep. Okay, there's a third Lord Skitter. So we only want to draw lands now for the next, like, couple turns. Edict. Uh, oddly enough, probably this, because they can block it, and I don't want to give them back their things, so... So I can play the bat and take their other commando here, and they'll have nothing to do. Or I can get the skitter out. No, we, I'm going to get the skitter out. That's fine. We'll, we'll race. So they're struggling with their lands, obviously. Um, let's go to combat. And I'm going to send everything. He's probably going to block the Lord Skitter with his other commando. And then I'll just play another another Lord Skitter. I can also bat here. Because it's post-combat. So I can't even get the thing. I'm going to bat here and see what they have in their hand. Maybe I can take another important thing they're waiting to play. Uh, yeah, take the Bodyguard. So even if they draw a land here, they can't play it. Surprised they're attacking here. Like, what are they, well, I guess what are they going to do? Block a 1 1? I guess they. Ooh, they got their blue land. All right, here we go. Rat. Done. Actually, I should have named uh, Human. That was stupid, but they don't have um, counters, anyways. Let's get the Sewer Witch down now. I could go for a bigger one, but I'd rather just. I think this is probably enough. So they can flash this in, but they can't. And block one of these, but they can't pay the extra, right? I think I'll still probably keep them back. There's no point in giving them back one of their bodyguards. So it comes down, does nothing. They can block a rat. So if one it draws a land here, then they're in not too bad a shape with this thing. So they're just gonna flash that thing down again. Um so six mana, so let's go Lord Skitter. And then let's go... Uh, this Actually, this is a more... Okay, I was gonna say, that's a more important card to land right now. I should have actually used the uncounterable mana. Okay. Navok Cal against Mono Black Rats. We are on the play. Uh, let's keep this. We sadly cannot play our raid. But we can play the rest. 
So let's go rat. And we'll have to eventually draw a uh, swamp at some point. So blue, white. Let's play this. Uh, we definitely need to draw a land next turn. We must draw a land. Invasion. Okay. Still need a land. Either way, I'm playing whatever comes off of... What did they take? Okay. Uh, 24 lands in the deck. That's okay, though. So, soldiers? Still can't draw a land. They're going to flash in their 2 one ones, and they're going to block. Yep. Why would you do that? Interesting blocks. Are they also mana screwed? Because that would be great. Okay, let's go combat. Okay. Really? I mean... I guess so. Make a rat. Okay, they got their land now too. So we both equally hiccuped, so it's still a kind of fair match. Okay, that's gonna die right away. Uh, let's go land. Let's kill. Raid and attack. Brutal Cathar. Okay, so land's good here. Uh, that's actually pretty good too. So let's go colony. We'll send our 1 1. I don't think he's reading the cards. Okay. Okay, land. So get our guy. Let's go rat. Play the sewer king. And if somehow he survives this turn, then next turn we can give our guys menace and hopefully. That'll do it. Exile there. Oh, they're going to counter my thing. Okay. Sure. Opponent goes to one. Okay. Uh, game two. Let's bring in the Virtues. I'm wondering if the Bats are going to be good here. Let's do the Virtues for now. We'll hold off on the Bats. So they're going to be really fast, so I don't think these are going to be... They're on the play with Soldiers, so those are probably less good. Let's reduce... Let's just go, two, let's just go three Virtues for now. I'll try that out. Uh, yeah, let's keep that. Need to draw land once again. Pawn plays a land. Well, there's a two drop, which is nice. So we can at least begin to curve out here. Human. Invasion. We'll see if they take the uh, Prowler or if they... <laughs> Alright. Okay, opponent does nothing. Um, so probably a counter spell here. As much as I want to play this now and get the one and get the 
Now, you know what? I'm going to go for it. I don't care. If they want to counter and take damage, that's fine. We have another one coming anyways. So we want lands. Okay. So land and then rat. Sure. Let's just send the 2-2 two -two for now. And then if we can get a witch down next turn, then we would be in very good shape. The best draw here would be the uh, cavern. Uh, okay, still pretty good. Let's go like this. Make another rat. Let's go to combat. I'll just hold back to go for the throat for now. So they're going to get two twos soon. I'll just send everything because they're going to get two twos. Nice. Block and block. Sure, sure. And then we'll hold back this for whatever they play next. I'll probably kill this end of turn. So that I can use my mana fully next turn if I draw a land, which I'm going to. No. Uh, Alright, let's send the team. Blockers, yep. Can you give me more 1-1s? One okay. If I can ever draw a land here, I'm... <laughs> I've got two very good plays. I just need a land. Yep. Does nothing. There we go. So I don't know if they're going to counter this. I think I want this to land more. So I'm going to do this. See if he counters that. I think the witch, la the witch landing is probably just game. So make this appear. Okay. Send two. Okay. Even if they have the counter spell, I probably would still win. Let's send it. Okay. Oh yeah, counter the... Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Uh, I'm going to send this. If he wants to trade the 2-2, two -two, that's fine. Yep. Okay, cavern. A little bit late, but that's okay. Uh, let's man land. And send the team. Really? Oh, I guess they have to, right? Oh, I guess it does make a difference. Okay. Okay. Necro Omnipotens against Mono Black Rats. We're on the play. Um, I wish one of these was a non-land card, but I'm going to keep this anyways. Okay, so let's uh, play a rat. We will mill the opponent. More blue-black nonsense. Okay. Okay, perfect. Um, let's go land. Let's just hard cast this guy. And we're going to... Whoops. Uh, yes, you can have lifelink. Gain a life. Oh, God. Um, let's wait. We're going to make a rat with this thing, so there's no point in doing it until after combat. Let's attack. Yep. So they lose two from that, which is nice. And take one. 
and we'll make a rat. And now we desperately need to not draw land here. We need to draw the uh, witch or the chiromonics, whatever his name is. Uh, that's okay. Let's. So I could main land here, but I think I'll probably ninjutsu here. I kind of want to ninjutsu the Lord Skitter's Butcher to recast it. Nah, I'm going to do this guy. Let's do this. Fairy Mastermind. Okay. Uh, sure. Excellent. And then let's play this as well. We'll mill you out. Two more cards. Pretty good ones, pretty good ones. Is it going to be a shieldred? Sure is. Um, okay. Pretty bad draw. Let's go land, attack all. Yeah, I think the sh I think the shield would probably just finishes the job here. Two gicks off the top. So if we can draw the witch here and they can't counter it, we might have a chance to still win here. Witch, no counters. That's what we're looking at. Oh god. <laughs> Never mind. Okay. Well. Okay, so let's go probably more hand stuff. We're playing a lot of removal. I'm trying to think of what's bad here against them. Let's let's try one more game as is. Let's try one more game without sideboarding. Let's see if we can kill them quickly. Alright, game two, Necro Omnipot Necro Omnipotens. Play first. Similar hand to last time, but we're going to keep it. Land. Okay, uh, let's... Not that they can counter it right now, but let's put this out. Next turn we will play this guy and try to hopefully refill our hand with some rats. I don't need land. Uh, let's go to combat. Kill it. Mm-hmm. Okay, we need we need like three cards off this rat. Is the yes, exactly three cards. Okay. Ledger shredder. Yep. Okay. So let's go land. I want this thing to die right now. Uh, let's let's go to combat and see if they do anything. Okay, uh, let's kill the Shredder. Play the Vermin. Guess we'll mill them too. Nice, nice. Now we have no Shieldred removal, so that's probably a mistake, but... <laughs> okay. Uh, let's go... I want to do a bigger Witch. But I also don't want to get board wiped. If I Witch now, this can attack in through this. Let's switch now before uh, things go bad. So we'll attack here. Now we can block this too, which is nice. Actually, I should have attacked with this too. I forgot that when it dies, it does minus one. So he would have had to take that as well. So that was a play mistake. One of many play mistakes. So bat taking... I don't know what they take here. This is They're both really good here. This is probably better, because I'm going to go Menace to All. Okay. That's pretty good. So let's do that. 
Uh, let's give everybody menace. Go to combat. Mastermind, sure. So I might bounce the witch back to my hand if they don't block it. Which they don't. I can also take the Karamonix back to refill my hand again, but I think the witch... Let's do the witch. Life link and death touch. So the roll is when the... Is it when the roll dies that deals the damage? When this aura is put into the graveyard. So I can just cast the witch and the three auras will sacrifice and they'll just die, right? Just cast the witch. The bat doesn't, well, doesn't, it, doesn't, it puts them to four, so they kind of live. Did they take the damage from the... Um, okay, and we have this deals one damage as well. Let's just cast this. And then we'll cast the... So take three, and then this deals one. Oh, the dog senses somebody again. Okay, um, so they're playing bats. So I think having our own bats might be good. Having virtues might be good as well. Let's bring in some bats. I think these can go down. Let's reduce the Prowler by one and the Witch by one. All right, game three, Necromnipotens on the draw, unfortunately. Ugh, God. So we have something we can do in the early. We have the mainland. We have the mana now to play this one when it happens. And we're on the draw. So I'm going to keep this probably going to be a mistake. If I draw a bunch of lands, I'm, I've got no shot here. But if I can draw a couple of good non-land cards here, there's a chance. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's a good start. The problem with hands like this is that now they bat and take my two drop, and then I'm just so it's, I'm so slow now because of it, or not. Uh, let's go land. Let's play the colony. Okay, opponent didn't do anything. All right, uh, let's go to combat, and they will probably kill this. Yep. And then we'll play the Butcher and make a rat. So next turn, we, we want to draw like a two, a, another two drop would be amazing here. Another two drop. We can play them both and then which kills our guy or a useless land. Let's just hard cast this. Life link and death touch. Okay, so the witch could be good here. There is the card we didn't want to see. Uh, all right. Uh, that's actually very good. I think we hold off on the witch now. Let's attack. Yeah, so they know it's they know it's coming. Okay. Ugh, gross. Okay, this next draw is so important now. Invasion. See, this is terrible because now I have to chump block. What, what can they bring back? Creature wise. Uh, any creature in a graveyard. So it's, it can be from my graveyard too. So I have to block that, don't I? Because they're going to get a 4 4. 
one of these. I don't like doing that. So we need a removal spell pretty bad here. Draw. Okay. Uh, so let's go. Let's kill this now. Play our land. So I probably just main land here because I'm not going to. So let's send everybody. They're going to get their stupid thing here, but. Two, four, six. Like another witch would be great here. I'm also one turn away from virtuing. I don't even know what this is. What am I looking at? Gixie and Puppeteer. Four mana, four, three. Whenever you draw your second card each turn, drain two and gain two. When it dies, return another target creature card, mana value three, less than your grid. Wow, I've never even seen that card before. I don't know how, but crazy. All right, uh, let's go skitter. And then I uh, let's eat their bat. And then I'm going to attack all so that one of these guys gets through and I can... All right. Uh, yeah, let's put this back. Yep, yep, yep. Exile. Spell, I guess. Death Touch Lifelink. Not great, but... And Shieldred's brutal. What are these cards? What's going on here? Uh, I'm going to take this. Okay. Pretty good. Um, so when I redraw your second card, you turn put a plus on counter on it. When it dies, return to your card a value less than equal to the number of power from your graveyard. So it currently gets nothing. So I'm not worried about that necessarily. This thing's going to die and bring back a creature as well. Which is also currently nothing. So it's tempting to kill these now to get more damage in. Like I know I need to kill the. Okay, let's go combat. Exile this thing. Let's attack. So block there, block there. I think I just let those go, and then... I'm gonna kill this. Do I wanna... I think I just hard cast this thing. Okay. Let's just hard cast this now. So I want a Car Caramonix, whatever his name is. That's my ideal draw here. Or a Witch, either one. There's a couple of good draws here. Even drawing a land isn't terrible here. Like, I can play with Virtue and bring back his Shieldred. So, like, there's really not a... The only bad draw here is going to be, like, one drops and stuff like that. Like, just give me any one of my powerful cards or a land, and I'm happy. This again. First creature with the highest power. Okay, so I keep my two mice at least. I just lose my big guy. And this thing becomes a, a problem. So when this dies, it can bring back a. So what is it when it dies? Uh, it's mana value less than his power. So right now it brings back nothing really. <sighs> I'm tempted to draw with this. I think I need to find better stuff. I'm going to sacrifice a scry two and draw. I should have attacked first, but so that can go away. I don't know if that's good enough right now. 
Please don't, please don't draw something crappy. Eh. All right, well, let's uh, get aggressive, I guess. Got to keep his life low if I can. So we can Virtue next turn. It'll probably get countered, but Shredder. Ugh. Yep. That's what I didn't want to see. All right, we have to go for this, I guess. It's probably getting countered here, but we're losing this race. Make disappear. Uh, no need to attack. Yeah, that's probably game. Too bad. So they get theirs. I want Karamonix off the top right now. Basic land. So we're just dead to the flyers then. Okay. Uh, oh, technically we gain a life here. He'll still connive. But technically. Um, all right, let's send the team. Um, yeah, he just brings back the shielded, right? Okay, fine, fine. Okay, that was Mono Black Rats. Um, I think it's pretty good. I'm wondering if there's something in the four drop slot that I could be putting in. I, I know that like you could play Throne, uh, what's it called? The Wandering Throne or whatever, the artifact guy who counts as a rat technically. Maybe like a four drop rat. Problem is that it's not a rat before it enters the battlefield, so you can't get it off of the Karumonix. It doesn't count as a rat until you play it. So uh, I don't know if there's anything I'm missing, any other good rats, but... Um, it's a pretty cheap deck, which is nice and um, fun to play. So that's Mono Black Rats. Anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.